Yeah. Alright, we're in to pick Ban here. Alright, let's see. Uh, whoops, wrong one. So, Drexel uh, probably going to be really, really, really thrown off. Uh, yeah, there's a Vygar. I was going to yeah. say, there's no way Vygar gets through. It, it was a swag. Yeah. I'm all mixed up by all these roster changes. Oh my god. Yep. It's going to be a couple <laughs> of different champion pools. Smite Infinity and Swag yeah. have kind of similar yeah. pools, but like, you know, the Rise won't need to be banned now. Uh, right, yeah. You want to ban Jojako's Nami. Like, this is going to be... Oh, they still ban Rise. Interesting. Oh, okay. No. Mm -hmm. Drexel has no idea! I didn't do enough research. <laughs> Like maybe they, maybe you might still get it rise. You never know. Yeah, could be. Still a really good champion. Yeah, no. Chat's going off. Uh, Swag VT so good. Rise needs to be banned mm -hmm. even when he isn't in game. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, so we do of course see the Viger ban, followed up by the Zach ban. <clears throat> Zach really uh, didn't work out in the favor of uh, Virginia Tech last time. I'm gonna go ahead and get I don't rid of think it, it was like time. Zach's fault. I think it was just uh, no, um, definitely not. I think it was probably a fact that you know you missed uh, three fifths of your bands. Yeah, probably. Three, three, three bands. Bands. <laughs> like that. Yeah, and these look still like very to... uh, familiar bands so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still still opting to ban away the Twitch, even though uh, when given the opportunity, they didn't pick it last time for Drexel. Yeah. That said, Drexel doesn't look like they're worried too much about the Riven, either. Here's where they ban Riven. I don't know. It's actually nope. Zaya. Never mind. Okay. Zaya ban coming out. Doing some quick choice. research into Fong Francis. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's my oh, Tris. We haven't seen all series, which I think is still really good, is Tristana, but we're just kidding. We won't see anymore. It's Caitlyn. It's Caitlyn, though. Nice analysis, by the way. Yeah, nice analysis, by the way. <laughs> Sit down. I guess I should just wait until the chain because they're uh, actually locked in. Are we going to see the, the Kaiser Morgana pick here? Okay, Morgana going to take it away from the Caitlyn. That's too oh, strong yeah. a lane, I think. Yeah, this definitely have to take that. Morgana, one hundred percent win rate in the series so far as well. Very true. Sounds Three sus. wins for her. Dude, I need some uh, lane support. I love Morgana. Yeah. No, you can't. That's one of my top five champion, top five favorite champions in the game. I play, okay. I play support. I don't, don't do that. think I we'll see know. Olaf into Morgana. Um, yeah. They picked what they said they picked. Wow. Oh. And I oh. think <laughs> uh, Joe may want to play Nami, but that may not yeah. be his choice into Morgana as well. Uh, it's not fun, but it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our boy, uh, our yeah, our over boy. Here. Yeah. That's definitely a placeholder, I think. Yeah. Um, Annie. Okay. Annie equals Galio. Annie is going. Oh, so, okay. So I'm not familiar with the placeholder system. How does that work? Basically, you just uh, hover it, be, and then yeah. you send a message before the lock-in happens to the other team, uh, so they're yes, aware of it before is, yes. they lose any time, and it becomes a uh, basically just we make the lobby afterwards. Yeah. Okay. The ribbon. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Smite Infinity's Galio plus Yade's Riven. That's actually a terrifying combo. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. I was gonna say. Monk S. Yes, definitely. I'd be scared. I'm gonna go for the Corky hover. Well, they're just hovering it. Excuse me. Okay. They do lock it in. All right. That, uh, over a I've been told it's here. that's not bad for Galio. Galio. Yeah, Corky actually wins in the Galio. Yeah. So. Okay. I respect it. That said, I think uh, Smite knows that, and I'm pretty sure he was mm. just okay with that going into it. Galio yeah. not necess doesn't necessarily need to win the lane. Ooh. The um, Nami target ban scouting ooh. mid draft. Hell yeah. Hey. We uh, saw Joe Jacko playing in uh, semis for Virginia Tech, and mm. the Nami was doing so much work. I'd call it probably MVP of the series, definitely carrying uh, yeah. games off the Nami. Um, I, think, I, I really think that champion is really, really I, I think good. Joe Jacko is insane. Yeah. Honestly. That too. I haven't even seen him play that much. Yeah. Just like the series last year, but I was like, yeah. this guy's this guy nuts. Yeah. Shout out to Joe Jacko, dude. Yeah, shout out to Joe Jacko. Yeah. And good Nami. interview. Shout out to yeah. Nami. Love Nami. Good <laughs> champion. Yeah, really good Nami champion. One trick, so you love yeah. him. Anyway. Dude, I love that champion. I think it's really good, too. Yeah, I, I love Nami. I think Nami's one of the best made supports in the game up there. Not like hella oppressive or anything. Yeah. Okay. She's uh, pretty slept on, I Ooh, think. The Warwick. Warwick. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that... I agree. I think I think Nami slept on pretty hard. Yeah. By a lot of, yeah, by a lot of I think so. Um, 
I think Quantic Fu's played five different junglers in all five games. Yeah. Um, it's right. go you're, you're, right now. you are correct. Oh, but I think the Janet pickup is a very, very good decision here. <clears throat> um, I mean, you're not going to get much done in, in lane with Morgana, so it's pretty neutral. And then, uh, it makes it makes good, uh, really good disengage against the Warwick. So, yeah, very good pick there. And they're not actually going to lock any trucks, will they? Please lock this in. Could be a placeholder as well. You never know. I think. All right. A little bit of okay. trundle okay. top lane, I guess. Yeah. All right. This lobby's right. going to get remade, so don't worry too much when it just quits out in a second, because Regina Tech obviously can't <laughs> turn that Annie into Galio magically. Panic! Oh my God! Where's the game? Who <laughs> FF? <laughs> huh? Jojako had to quit out. Actually, Jojako logs off to quit out. I don't. You don't need to do that in a custom game. You should know that. I think maybe something messed up. I'm not really sure. He used to have to. He's just stuck in his ways, dude. Yep. Been playing the game for too long. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that's how I quit out of games. I mean, yeah. I, I log completely. And that, that, so that's necessary in solo queue, not necessary in custom yeah, games. No, I know, I know. Even in customs. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting decision. I've seen some the people just log. like, I, I've had actually during scrims, I've seen people hit the quit button not knowing what it was and just like ruin the entire draft. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like, this wow. button's not normally here. I'm going to press it. Huh, does it do what it <laughs> says it does? Huh, I wonder. All right, back in the draft. This should go quick. I think it's going to be, oh, actually they're going to the right bands at least so far. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally meme ban something somebody picked. Yeah. yeah. I think that's that happened, happened in a game before. Of ours. That happened in a game of ours one time. I think so. Yeah, there's yeah. a few things that will happen when placeholders come through where, like, you know, you'll accidentally ban somebody's actual Anivia pick. Yeah. Or, um, sometimes the top winners get uh, too excited about it and will just, like, pick yeah, off in their fourth yeah. ban or whatever. <laughs> so it's like, oh, yep, there's my Amumu top. It's like, uh. Uh, remake the lobby again. <laughs> Whoa! Riven and... Who's our top one? Trundle? Riven, Trundle. Trundle. Riven, Trundle. Then... Warwick. Olaf and Warwick. Yeah. Warwick. Olaf and Galio. Galio. Okay. Olaf Galio is actually so good, um, mm -hmm. and it's we haven't seen it too much because uh, Olaf and Galio kind of like entered and left the meta at the same exact time in OCS. Yeah. Right. Uh, but basically, when Galio first came out, the big way people played it was they picked Olaf in the jungle, even when he wasn't super good, just because he would fight a lot, and then Galio yeah. would just ulti onto him and win the fight. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then people discovered Jarvan four. Yeah, and then Jarvan and then, came yeah, back. And then Jarvan happened. But now Jarvan isn't as good, so now we're back to Olaf. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, we've been also super scary with the uh, Galio. Mm -hmm. So. Could see something big come out here. Looks like me attack actually uh, managing to lock That's in all of these serious bands in pretty quick mm. time. Gotta respect him for that. Man, I just saw that a Mumu ban and remembered a Mumu was a champion. I haven't seen a Mumu <laughs> in anything in probably over a year. Yeah, didn't see any it's... hand grenade of Mumus in one for all. No, no I didn't play one for all. Uh, I took like a I took like a six month hiatus. So gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> I didn't play one. one yeah, one I'm quitting the game. By the way. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I think Kaisa uh, came out and I was like, oh my god, a new waifu. And then I, well, Kaisa, so. Uh-huh. No, Hand Grenade Amumu is my favorite name for a champion build. It's like full AP Amumu, but the second you hit the damage <laughs> shots, you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's on the same level as, like, maybe Criddle Sticks, but, like, it's... I don't know. <laughs> Criddle Sticks, dude. Oh, gosh. When are they going to rework that champion? Yeah, it's necessary at some point. <laughs> He's yeah, got to be on some... that list. They're doing a Kali next, is my understanding. Are they? Yeah, they picked uh, Aurelia and a Kali. Uh -huh. Two champions that were, like, you know, sort of okay, but, like, could have been updated, I guess. Yeah, so. I think they did a good job with Aurelia, though, so... Yeah, they definitely I trust did. them to do a good job with Akali. I miss a little Aurelia. I miss old Shen. 
Oh, Chen, like, we just toss three. daggers constantly in one lane. Well, I don't know. I like Nushen a lot. Nushen's <laughs> pretty freaking they're both, fun. They're both I, pretty fun. I played a... I, I miss those daggers, though, dude. Oh, my God. I played Shin for a while, and then I haven't played Shin since oh, the reward. Shin. I love I love both forms of Shin. Both forms of Shin. Top yeah. tier. Back when I played, you know, like didn't mean a roll. That's I just played myself all over the place. Shen Graves. I think I think New Graves isn't even Graves anymore. He's a completely different guy. He is a different guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That one felt like... kind of bad for me because my first pentakill ever was on you know AD carry Graves. Um, yeah, nice. AD Care Grace was fucking good. <laughs> Sorry. But it was just that good. Yeah, no, it was so nice. It's like, you know, he's still doing okay, but... Oh. Uh, diff- very uh, different champion. Yeah. I'm trying to think who my first went to go. That's the I reason I know. No idea. Mine's on YouTube somewhere. So, I don't know. I always go back and look at it sometimes. Just remember. I was freaking... I was probably like 12 years old when I got my first Penta, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've been playing this game forever. Yeah, no, it's been a while. Jesus. It's season 8 now. I started in 2010. Wow. So, it's been a long time. I always forget time. the year. It was pre vein release. I thought you said season, you played That's season game. 1, I think. So that's 2011. No, it was pre-season 1. Pre-season 1? Okay. Yeah. Vayne came out like after more Misfortune, though, too, didn't she? I think it. I, I there was like a time when I went back and like pit, like pinpointed the exact date that it was that I started playing because I like looked at that old timeline thing. Yeah, my first champion yes. release or new champion released was Urgot. Wow, you guys I, are old old yeah. players. Old hats. Yeah, I started playing when Lucian came out. So I, my games like, aren't even that high though because I just I like I play for like five months and then I'll like Quit. stop and come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, back to serious matters. Uh, we do yeah. see the serious matters. We have the two team comps. Um, I'm really liking Virginia Tech's team comp. They have split push pressure. They have team fight pressure. I think they win mm-hmm. both of those. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree. The, the, the toss up in this is can Huang Fu uh, make this Warwick top, uh, make this Warwick work out mm-hmm. in the jungle? Yeah, I think it has potential if they get good scraps around early and mid. Uh, game because that's the, the thing that Warwick is really the best at is just he just cleans those up so mm-hmm. easily with the, the movement speed and chasing low health targets. Yep, but they definitely have a can, shot. Uh, Warwick also can make sure that you know a fight breaks out top lane, he can get there quick, he doesn't yeah. need to be <laughs> as close, uh, doesn't need to predict things quite as much to be there in time to uh pick up the victory in the skirmish. I always clean it up, so. All right, into the loading screen. Here we go. I uh, already changed the scene. I'm ahead of it this time. Don't have to worry. Whoa, wow. Yeah. He's insane. He's doing it. Get out, played loading screen. All right, what do we got here? Riven, Olaf, Galio, Kate, Janna. Versus Tron, Warwick, Corgi, Kaisa, Morgana. Anything, anything, out of, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary there in those uh, runes and masteries. Yep, no, Aftershock, uh, standard on Galio. I yeah. Think. He's a bit ma- more mana hungry after the, uh, uh, he had some slight nerf to his Q, so I think uh, he'll yeah. probably be going mana flow band as a secondary rune. Um, Aftershock's just so important for him, also bone plating to keep him yeah. healthy. Resolve Tree is pretty strong, I think, on uh, all the anybody gets played in the mid lane, actually. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Resolve Trees mid lane recently. I've heard uh, Gavin and Joe both complain about it as well. <laughs> yeah. So. Drexel not opting to go for their five man ball like they have, I think, at the start of every other game. So yeah. just gonna Ooh. Ooh. just gonna go for the line of scrimmage. First damage does go to Virginia Tech. Game's over. Got him. No, good, uh, good axe toss there. This is actually kind of a, in like not bad. Oh. Oh. Can't see HP. Bars. Can't see HP bars reconnecting. Also can't see the caps lock is on. Apparently. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say uh, it's slightly a suboptimal play for Drexel here on how they set up their early game. You don't 
so like a five point you need to cover every entrance. Right now they have one yeah. left open. With Kaisa yeah. just sitting here. Also, Corky yes. was set up at tower, so he wouldn't have even seen it if anybody mm. went into the side bushes. Yeah, always check that. Like, there's no point standing in the tower. Like, yeah. unless you know that everybody's mm -hmm. invading and it's the only place you have that's safe to stand. It's like, go out and, like, get vision or something. It's so much more helpful than sitting underneath your tower doing nothing. Yep. Hate it when people do that. <laughs> All right, hopping back in. Quick little bug fix. Both junglers are right. top side this time. Ooh, we could see, we could see something now, bottom. I think minions have spawned, and the game five of the EEC finals is underway. Let's go! Oh Woo! yeah, we had the silver scrapes. Now it's just time to see the result. Game five. It's been a long one. Oh yeah, yeah we're it's a, been a long one. We're a we're approaching. approaching the four we're hour. approaching tomorrow. We're approaching tomorrow and the four hour mark. No, big thing here. Okay, so think about this. Virginia Tech has had a few sets of subs so far. Drexel has been mm -hmm. on the same five players as that played the 50-minute game, game one. Mm -hmm. So Drexel is tired at Very this point. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Virginia yeah. Tech has three absolutely that. fresh players, plus the uh, um, some people already warmed up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, you could look at that both ways, though. You know, uh, has has the uh, the people for uh, VT have they been warmed up or uh, you know? Are they yeah. just coming in cold? Coming in with cold hands! Have they been sure, watching Drexel sure at all? Sure do, they, do they have yeah, the scouting uh, done? I know Joe's been watching, but like, what about Francis and Smite? Uh, we don't know. So, it'll be interesting to see. If they can get out the W. This is for it all defending champions, Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. Trying to make sure they keep that championship trophy. Don't have to pay shipping to send it over to Drexel. <laughs> <laughs> the big shipping to send it back to Ryan, and then Ryan sends it to Drexel. Uh, yeah, for anybody that. who hasn't seen that trophy too, it's a it's nice, a pretty trophy. nice trophy. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a big easy uh, EC logo trophy. You get your you get your uh, school name engraved on it, I believe, oh, yeah. right? It's a it's a stick on little plaque thing, but yeah, stick, stick yeah. On plaque your name is hey, your name is there for posterity. Yeah, there's a lots of space in that trophy to put a lot of those plaques. So, <laughs> so Junior Tech could get a second plaque on there. Hoping to secure both EEC finals. The two time! Two back time! To back. back to back! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing crazy really coming out of this early game. Just some mm -hmm. pretty standard lane setups. Uh, Kaisa oh. is uh, oh, feeling pretty like bad in something. this lane. Down 10 CS early. He's going to walk into. Uh... Gavin here. Yeah, Gavin doesn't have the level advantage, but that's an early game Warwick. Oh, Gavin actually oh, forced a flash and the fierce oh, coming. <laughs> oh, the Kaisa W from downtown does end up securing the kill, and now Smite Affinity gets engaged on by Mage. Actually, he's actually fine fighting that. Yeah. Oh flash. my god, Warwick's here. Oh, I thought he was going to go Warwick for that. Doesn't, he doesn't have the flash. He's fast. He's cool down from. <clears throat> Yeah, the kill does help uh, Kaisa get back. Actually, has more gold than Caitlyn now. She was a little bad after you. Oh, here we go. Here's in. the dive coming in. Oh, oh, oh Smite Affinity yeah, going in with the flash. He's yeah. actually gonna die, but does he get two kills? Is nope. no, no. Nope. does live. Okay. So a uh, one for one, but they get that assist on the side of uh, ET. So uh, overall, net benefit for them. Yep. Yeah. Um. We'll be Might nice Infinity also burned his flash while Mage did not. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if uh, Smite Infinity likes that. I think he'll have a bit more gold to just kind of survive the win against the Corky now. Which will be nice for him. Corky did get the assist versus the kill onto Smite, so mm -hmm. uh, he will have the gold advantage in lane, but the Warwick will have the gold advantage outside of lane. Warwick getting that super early Tiamat, so really fast clear speed is going to come out for him. Hmm. Gavin runs back up to the top side of the map and wards up. Um, yeah, he's looking for everything Warwick. Everything where Warwick is, yeah. We're going to make a play with... Uh... Yeah, is not level 6. Yeah, it's not level 6, but they have two people there. <clears throat> Beard is laying on the, on the god Gavin down to flash. He's going to get stunned up. He's actually probably just going to completely fall to Yare. <clears throat> Smite Infinity was there for the backup, and Huang Fu is just gonna kind of skitter away to his Krugs. Yeah, no, good room there from Virginia Tech. Uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like Drexel was at all prepared for that. They were looking to get the gank themselves, instead they were the ones getting ganked. 
Another kill Un comes up. Fortunate. Yeah. Pretty even gold here. Not a quiet early game. Um, no, definitely not. Five minutes in and already four kills. Two and two. Yeah, evened up. Even gold, even kills. Um, so both teams fighting for it. They both want the win. Mm -hmm. Definitely hungry for that trophy. For sure. Kelly's getting pushed in a little bit here and does have to deal with the uh, repercussions of roaming early. But mm, yeah, okay with that. It does pop six a little bit before him, but it's Mind Infinity. Probably after, I would assume, one more melee creep will be hitting that level. Yeah. And Caitlyn's still up 20 CS in this bottom lane, almost catching up with that first blood gold that got donated over to Kaisa. So. Just a pure CS. Oh, Yada is a level up on Down to Flash. Down to Flash has to be a little bit careful here. One more rotation of uh, cooldowns from Yare, and could be looking at a dead Trundle. Yeah. And wisely does just kind of back up from the wave. Level 6 Riven uh, with Conqueror, yeah. so. Always mm. spooky. He's already got the Copials as well, so. Yep. Trundle actually did offer the press the attack versus the grasp of the Indying, uh, which is what you usually see on a lot of top lane Trundles. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see which way that ends up going. Yeah, just gonna let the wave build up on a tower. Could possibly be looking. Uh... Not a whole lot. Of yeah, not a whole lot of action in the top lane. Just gonna give the blue over to Smite Infinity. God, he's just gonna push up. I could be. I thought they could have maybe been looking to to die the top side after that blue, but just gonna opt to go back down the down the lane and. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna go down and clear out his Krugs. Maybe look for something bot. Yeah, Smite's gonna at least want to clear out that cannon wave before he uh, goes for any big rooms. Yeah, cannon min worth a lot more money than it big, has or has been dollars. before, so get that cannon min in. Make that money. Kaisa coming back has the recurve bow and the pickaxe versus the BF sword from Caitlyn. Caitlyn definitely going to still, I think, win the harassment war there. Oh, yeah, John for sure. Hero. Yeah, interesting that he continues to not opt for that death stance early. Mm. Yeah, I think I think Rachel is better as a second item instead of a first item. Yeah, nice. you I don't, don't generally go like the Death Stance first, Rage Blade, you get your Q Evolve there. Uh, finish mm -hmm. Rage Blade, then go Nash's Tooth, and then finish up all your Evolves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's a little strange, and especially like in this lane where like, you know, Life Steal would be so much more useful when you get Yeah, that's on. what I meant. Could, could have opted to go for the for the Vamp Scepter and, and uh, get a little bit of sustain since you're going to consistently take some poke from a Janet Caitlyn lane. And you're not gonna really have any other option to heal with having a Morgana support. But just opting to play a pretty safe lane. Uh, Huang Fu is down here, possibly looking for something onto the bot lane. But we also see Gavin waiting in the wings. Mid laners are kind of roaming down as well. Could be seeing something here shortly in the bot lane once somebody pulls the trigger. If Huang Fu does opt to come in, he is rounding the corner. God, Gavin's still here, channeling his back. The mid laner has have gone back, and the flash is gonna come out from Cho. Cho's gonna come in, but they're very. Very ready for this. I'm Oz gonna run for his life away from the Olaf. Yara is here, he's in, he's gonna finish off I'm Oz Chow falling down as well. And honestly, uh, VT was extremely ready for that. Everybody on the map was waiting for that play. Yeah, and no, they just, uh, instant teleport from Riven. Galio ulties as soon as he can get in. And that's first turret at nine minutes here in the bottom lane. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, there's not really even a like a uh, substantial response on uh, from Drexel on that. Like no, they just push no. in a couple of ways, and that's like all they can do. Gonna see just a little bit of tower damage on both the mid and the top tower, but I, I wouldn't imagine much would happen. Yeah, teleport's gonna come yeah. in onto the top side. Yeah, uh, gonna teleport back from up Smite top. Infinity. So gonna go ahead and defend that top tower and. Uh, ET's gonna look to secure this dragon. Wonku's gonna look for the steel. Uh, just for the kinda steel, kinda but dies. Uh, here comes yeah. Kaisa, but the Jana ulti comes out. Jana oh, flashes away. Quite low. My guy's gonna oh. flash forward and secure it, actually, but he does die for his trouble. The dragon is still up. God damn it, can't quite finish it. I'm always just gonna come up and pressure them away. Oh. Francis is oh. quite, quite healthy, though. That is here. Q yeah. finishes him. That is here. Chow oh, there. good dodge. Oh, I, oh my god. Five billion IQ. <laughs> oh my god. God, the dodge. And now just Chow's waiting to die. Chop him up. <laughs> Gives him the class All around the map. We see we great see might actually be the one to answer top lane there. Well, yeah, Yade yeah. goes for the mid lane. Heads up play from Virginia Tech. Yeah. Crazy yeah, play. Was 2-2, two two, now good. it's 8-3. 
Mountain Dragon just hitting I'm Oz constantly during that uh, fight was mm. what ended up leading to his death. Yeah. Mm. And now, wow. Penutech that, has that's this map the, opened up. The mid game roll. I mean, I'm totally expecting Yachty to do something new. Yeah, I think Yachty yeah. may be waiting for his ultimate to come up. He could definitely kill if he did have that, but Morgana's here now. So it's not going to be mm, it's not cool. as available. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's still going. Oh, no. Ulti is. Like, oh, no. Yeah, he's, Ulti oh, no. came he's up right head. now. Oh, he did. Okay, he did not have the ult. Slightly <laughs> unlucky, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, Jenna is opting to max the, the yeah, W here for the, the poke. That's, that's pretty interesting. I've never seen that. You don't do that. I don't do that. Why but do that's that? what everybody else does. Why don't you do that? Because I don't want to. Dang, it's insane. I'm just looking at this poke. I'm like, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> These Warwick summon Aries are just chucking people. Yeah. Warwick has to ult you to get out of there. That's just uh -oh. three, They're four dead. man die possible with Galio here oh, as well. Predator comes out. Galio is on to go off. Smack him. Smite Infinity is here to clean it up. Francis, you- and... Francis! Oh, oh he's fine, he's calculated. <laughs> calculated, all calculated. Big okay. brain? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm foul. And he's probably going back to it. Oh, oh my goodness. This, it's, this isn't looking very it's good. It's a disaster. Yeah, aggressive play. V VT, v VT just saying, all right, you've had your fun, Drexel. Step aside. Yeah. Give us back the truth. Farewell. Yeah, let's, let's keep, keep it. it. 12 minutes in, uh, so close. five feet will be two towers up. They're going to go ahead and secure this Herald, and I would imagine just swing down to mid, pop it in mid. Caitlyn's yeah. running there right now. This is, I think, the biggest gold lead of the game uh, mm -hmm. so far at 12 minutes, so. <clears throat> yeah, definitely the biggest lead this early. Yeah, we're almost at, what, 16? Almost six. And this is like, you know, Quirky technically counters Galio in lane, but we've just seen all the map play that Galio can do, popping in with those ultimates the perfect times, and Quirky's uh, big map pressure moments with the package are just not as available. Yeah, I've, I haven't seen him use it once the whole game. So yeah. like, super had effective. it for a little bit, but just no opportunity yeah. to use it when he had it, and then second it's gone, top lane turret dive. Alright, so two turrets down. Virginia Tech. Looking it's at the mid lane three turret. really soon. They just don't have enough to stop uh, the Caitlyn push. I don't think. They'll yeah. get it eventually. That finished Infinity Edge is so big. Gold leads across the board for Virginia Tech right now. 2,000 gold lead for Yade in the top lane. By the bot lane now. 1,500 gold lead for Caitlyn. They're just taking this blue buff in their face. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> VT not not caring at all. We're gonna take everything from you, completely starve you out of this game, and Drexel's just kind of wandering around the map, scratching their heads, just not really sure how to answer this. They're, they're gonna look for two turret push here. That's gonna go down here. You get the first one easy. Yeah, I I, I would imagine with this herald they they, they, they can look for two powers. Yeah. yeah. Spine Infinity and Yada are pressuring both the side waves. Yada's actually backing off, but uh, so is down to flash. Actually, I'm just gonna not look for the two tower pressure mm. in mid. Yeah, I gonna think they just wanted a bit more of a medium wave there to block against something like the Morgana bind uh, coming out. Yeah, this is gonna back and reset. It looks like. Spend it's like a, the all right, money. So this is what kind of gets uh, uh, like you know you get scared when you're behind. Warwick and Quirky could have definitely gone in on Galio there. Warwick had his ultimate, and knew exactly where he was. There's nobody around, but you just like the vision control from. Uh, Virginia Tech, they have their pink ward set up, so they don't know if Olaf is around, maybe. Um, and they're just scared, and even in that 2v1, they could take it, but they mm. don't want to lose any, even further, so. Yeah. That's what's hard about being behind in a lot of these cases. Everybody on the side of ET does go back and buy. Kaylin picks up a zeal for herself, and let's see if... Uh... Galio opts to actually just completely buy a full Ninja Tabby. He's gonna make sure he actually can't lose against anybody in lane. Wow, Trindle's not gonna... he's not having a fun time. Look at his item yeah. difference right there. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, this is not fun. Just the phage and the sheen with the small boot and one dagger. <laughs> really, that's that's just the worst timeline possible for. Oh yeah. No, can't right. get anything finished. Definitely hurts. Ninja tabbies are a amazing item against uh. Yeah. Oh, Warwick ulti does manage to get him away. He was unstoppable. Okay. <clears throat> you definitely don't want to see a consistent use of Warwick ulti defensively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God damn it! Oh, oh the, the pillar traffic gun. Traffic gun. Hold up! Stop! Stop right there! Get back! Get the heck you back! This is fine. Yeah, and this is like all five yeah. members of Drexel are there, and they just watch it fall. Can't do anything. Yeah. <sighs> Too scared to pull a trigger, and honestly, rightly so. I think I think they should just pull the trigger. Maybe something good happens, or I mean. You just and now end the suffering sooner. they're gonna bait the infernal, setting up the death brush. He's Corky's gonna face check. He's got the package, so he's probably Ooh. the safest option to face check. Okay. And he will get away. Okay. Dude, look at that slow one package. It's so insane. Yeah, package, oh. package slow is actually insane. They will just off the turn, take the infernal. They'll have one infernal, one mountain. I'm a little gonna be looking. They're looking to get this top tower for. Uh, to trade this dragon, but I, I don't think no, they'll be able not, to get no, there. It hasn't bad. taken any damage. Really, any tower for uh, VT hasn't taken any damage at all, it looks like. Yeah, no, it's definitely doing pretty well in these lanes. Yeah, coming up on a 8k gold lead here, about the 17 minute mark, strip round out. <clears throat> Have a decent amount of gold sitting in pockets, too. Some finished items that mm -hmm. could be bought. Absolutely dominant vision on this map too. Just a couple wards there in the bot side jungle for uh, for Drexel, but other than that, yeah. completely owned. Right side for them is Corky's finished up his training force, so he can do some damage mm -hmm. there. Um, but it'll be a uphill battle. Still need the training force finished up for which bundle. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an up mountain battle. Looks like he's <laughs> up 8k now. Yeah. At, before, yeah, it's it's. A, not even yeah, they're, and they're knocking on this mid tower here, so <clears throat> gonna be looking to get this mid tower down with this last little wave here. Ow! Wow! That's that's absurd. Pope there onto onto Warwick, gonna force him off. Galio's looking to also finish up this top tower. I believe it's pretty low. Oh, excuse me, it's actually full HP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> QSS comes out for uh, for uh, Yachty, actually. A bit of an interesting pick, but yeah, I, I can see yeah, it. You're... Really just looking for the Warwick ult and the, and the Dark Binding, really, but I guess... Uh, Those are not too hard to hit when you're diving into the back line uh, as a Riven, mm -hmm. so... He doesn't want to be stopped. Yeah, for sure. Getting locked down as a Riven is kind of a death sentence, so... Yeah, yeah. Not want to deny my engage. Yeah, a bad, a bad chain of, like, getting Warwick ulted and then feared and then, like, binded or something like that. Alright, uh, so Joe Jacko appears to have DC'd here. Um... Unfortunate. Yeah. How much? Looks like he's having some issues with internet. It's not just a thing on yeah. his lead client or anything. Um, okay, good. No! <clears throat> Unfortunate uh, yeah. technical difficulties, but these things happen when you're... Happens all the time. Just uh, really. all playing from your own, from your own yeah. places. You got... Mm. Trying to get twelve people into a into a match just yeah. doesn't sound like it'd be hard. Man, is it hard? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a, he just still DC three minutes from now, by the way. So this is going to be mm. a bit of a doy. Um, so settle in for oh, that. Oh, true. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have access to their group chat text message because I'm technically their coach. So. <laughs> gotcha. We'll be uh, getting in back in here in a second. Um, Unfortunate delay, but these things do happen. And uh, ten, uh, okay. <clears throat> so, really, what do we? What, what does Drexel look for here? It's 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 a really big struggle, honestly. Uh, yeah. Uh, what... Even if they stall it out for the for the late game it's still not not really that much of a more late game team than vt yeah i i they they thought that's for a miracle right here uh-huh um yeah. 
Kaisa doesn't have is isn't gonna hit her you know her her true strength anytime soon mm-hmm. um Warwick is like super weak right now he just he's gonna get just yeah and, and you and you see that down. by his repeated use of his ultimate yeah. to get away yeah. and definitely not what you want to see even if Drexel like it's like a miracle Baron steal at 20 minutes they still don't have any uh objectives at all right now so mm-hmm. Even with one miracle Baron seal, they'd probably lose a person for it. Yeah, I don't think they'd really be able to have much happen. Yeah, and it's hard to even get a pick against this team because like the people you'd pick are uh, yeah, maybe alone, but Riven's Riven. She can you know yeah. use infinite gap closes to get away. Um, Olaf has... has Ragnarok. Galio maybe, yeah. um, but he yeah. can stay alive long enough for help to come. Yeah, um, yeah. Galio is a pretty yeah. pretty tanky champion, and you've got to. You got a fairly mobile team on the side yeah. of uh, BT, so they can answer answer rums very quick. And they're they're they've shown yeah. they have really good communication as a team. So I, I really, really, really be hard pressed to see yeah. them get a pick. Maybe if they they, they like, can't uh, pick, they can't pick Caitlyn. Yeah, maybe Caitlyn if Francis Galliolt and gets like a little overzealous. You guys get like big. way far out of the way for that. Yeah, one. but like Jonna will be there probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and there's be there. there's like a zero percent chance that Galliolt Joe Jacko be... isn't there unless he yeah. doesn't reconnect the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, even okay, even in the case that Joe Jacko yeah, doesn't make the game, yeah. Virginia Tech still has a pretty good shot at winning this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, they just they set up they set up vision around Baron, uh, like yeah. just bait it in, get some picks, snag the Baron, walk it up. Yeah, we're looking at 10k difference. So at 18 minutes, I think they can, yeah, they can definitely <laughs> uh, pull that one. I think it will be a bit tougher, though. They do have a lot of peel wrapped up in that Caitlyn or Jana pick, so. Mm-hmm. Jana is super obnoxious. So that how long has that W Max been a thing? Since the beginning of the season. Really? Yeah. Well, that's why I don't know it because I. I haven't yeah, it was around the same time Arden got nerfed uh, last season. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, that's exactly when I took a hiatus. So. I've been pretty up to date on things this season, just uh, keeping up for casting. But that's one thing I had no clue about. Yeah, uh, it's the big thing was like rush ardent and just press E. You know. So why don't you do that? Why don't you max W? Because oh, I like okay. having the shield so that my stupid ADCs who don't know how to play the game uh, can stay slightly more safe than if Dude, I max W. The other AD carry can't hurt your AD carry if he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And it's like so safe for Jonna too, because she runs up, does it. Somebody tries to go in yeah. on her, and she just pops a Q. Yeah, yeah. See, the thing is, I think it's gonna get nerfed. It and did get it's nerfed. just it got nerfed by yeah. five games. Oh boy! <laughs> you can say I you think, think it's gonna be nerfed, but it's been a while yeah. that it's sat there. Yeah, I know. I just think... it does have a five damage. It has a five damage nerf on the PVE. Oh boy! Five, five. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because I think your E is just gonna stay pretty much the same <laughs> as it always has been. So. They're gonna be like, oh, we don't like these Jana players maxing W and poking people, so nerf it. And then they're gonna go back to maxing. I'm just like, I max you the whole time. Can I just say I really don't like summon Airy or the uh, sorcery orb? The the comet, Ar- arcane comet. Yeah, I don't know. Why don't you like those things? It's so obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Stop poking me. Uh, I have no HP anyway. I'm just a small HP. Oh, Joe. ADK. Oh, Joe is back. Oh. Not ready. We're not ready. Joe but... back, but not ready. Ready, not ready. What we got? Ready, not ready. No, not ready. All right, still not ready. That's fine. <laughs> dude, yeah. we got we got filler for hours. I think Aerie is fine, dude. I hate Aerie. I hate. Aerie. <laughs> well, okay, I, I I like Aerie when my Nami support has it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I hate it in any other scenario. Uh huh. Um. And Arcane Comet is super obnoxious. Yeah, Comet's pretty Give me back Thunderlord's Decree. Don't you dare tell me we already have Thunderlord's Decree. Not the same thing. Where's my Storm Raider Surge? Phase uh, Rush is not the same We do have Storm Raider Surge. That's the thing. Eh, it's called Phase thing. Rush now, but it's it's basically the same thing. Give me back Thunderlords on literally every champion. <laughs> <laughs> we're in. Oh, we're game back in. started. Oh, no. Okay. The R's come out. Everybody's R. Oh. Uh, How long can this go on? <laughs> Nana Flash is gonna get yapped in the bot lane. 
Got it. I'm honest. Throws out the questionable W. He's looking for the. Go in, Yane. Go in on that. Yeah, Yane was thinking about it. You could tell. Dude, I know he was. Smite farming both jungle camps at once here. We're wanting to maximize the efficiency of the mid thing that way. I don't even have a juggler. <laughs> Junglers? I don't need no jungler. Gavin went for the Black Cleaver Olaf again. Uh, so still feeling pretty good about his Olaf. Play. Give him the axe. Oh yeah. Two axes. Oh, is that a Hearthstone That's card, Bishan? That's a Hearthstone card, isn't it? Alright, shout out to Bishan Law in the chat. I know what that is. That's a Hearthstone card reference. Mm -hmm. So bring that up real quick. Hell yeah. Oh, I thought you knew. I was. I would have told you. It is a Hearthstone reference. I haven't, I haven't played Hearthstone in a long time, so I couldn't remember. I don't, I don't play Hearthstone at all, but I, I know about that. I think it's like, yeah. I see it on the Hearthstone set, but I didn't know for something. I'm so subscribed <laughs> to that. It shows up on my front page every so often. What is that, like, Sarah Knight Chain Gang? Is that the name of the card? That I, I, I think so, yeah. I, I couldn't remember, no it was idea. bothering me. I, I, I've been sitting here for like the last like three minutes, like, huh. looking at that message in chat, like, what is that from? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was somebody's like, lock-in quote, but then I was like, no, 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 no. I can't think of anybody who that is. All right, Yare is just gonna continue to just have his flashy ribbon skin, take pretty colors in the bot lane. choice in the ribbon skin, <laughs> by the way. Best one. Yeah, it's, I think it's the one he always uses. Yeah, why wouldn't you, dude? It looks so crisp. Dude, yeah. we got that season two ribbon, though. Uh, Does he have got... the original one? I don't think he has that one. I think he lost one of the account that had it, so. Oh, damn. Unfortunate. That's too bad. Gets a few blocked a little bit there. Anyways. Hmm. Okay. Looks yeah, like... Oh, he's going oh, in. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Alright, he's gone. Yeah. That armor shred from the Black Cleaver will help you do a lot of damage real fast. Package comes out. Yeah, oh, the package comes in. There's desperation there. Oh, he's gonna chase right him! Now. The Baron's being done on the other side, though, by VT. Gonna go for right, the Fu. Fu. you got? Fong Fu, do it, do it, do it! I believe. Oh, he got it! Oh! Hey. Oh, he's insane! He's oh, he's gonna get out, too. Oh my god, he escaped. Wait. Right. Wait. Okay. Step one in the comeback. The darkest timeline? I'm pretty sure oh my god. Gavin missed Smite by like 30 HP on that. Gavin tilted like. that he can't bind his mastery to the flash <laughs> button, to the Smite button at the same time. <laughs> Triggered. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Well, remember when I said even when they don't get the Baron's Shield, they can't come back? Let's see. Let's see if I was telling the truth. Oh my god. I, I feel like it's... But in that so scenario, they're still pushing they in them. against these Baron up minions. Yeah, they're still pushing in. Uh, they have a long time that they can use to kill these Baron up minions before the next wave gets here. <laughs> You're only delaying the inevitable. Huang Fu? Huang Fu. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, he's uh, insane. Yade pushing in the bot lane still, Galio pushing in the top lane. Yeah. Yeah, so on a, on a serious note, I think that really only delays the inevitable. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. VT team dis has been displaying yeah. repeatedly in this game. They're they're quite strong. There's no but, you know, up. There's no walk up. I say that, and mm -hmm. uh, and Drexel's walking up to this dragon. Oh, they're feeling Chow's themselves. So oh, actually, Chow's just going to get completely eaten alive. Yeah, it gets crit oh, one boy. And meanwhile, oh, shot, he just goes oh, for it. Oh, no. Team. Oh, God. Oh, wait, Yadi dies, though. Okay, Gavin dies as well. Wait. Oh, wait, Yadi is here for the cleanup. One food actually just doesn't do uh, any actually, damage. It actually goes even, though. That's okay yeah, for, yeah. Actually, for Drexel. That's, that's good. Even. That's good for Drexel. All actually. right, that is good for Drexel. Drexel making it work. It looked like it was going to be disgusting, and yeah, then I, Yadi died. I, when then... Yadi came in, I thought he instantly got two people. Yeah. It was... It was I don't know why my brain thought that, but... Ooh, but now a double, uh... There's a lot of da hit. damage going off. Yeah. Uh, that's oh, it, Caitlyn's pretty strong. Yeah, Oz just walks up oh. and takes a bunch of base P. Francis actually goes quite low, oh, but Mage just gets absolutely obliterated. These Caitlyn crits are coming out, followed up by the Galio damage. It's just too much. Yeah, Francis just manages to stay alive, and those crits from long range will hurt you. Flash is full oh, and uh, Interesting Galio flash. He wasn't even close there, by the way. <laughs> he wasn't even going to hit that even yeah. flash forward. Oh, man. Healing himself a little too much. Feels bad. That's all right. I, I I think Francis might have another item after that, or at least another uh, at least another zeal. Yeah, yeah it looks like zeal. he's got another zeal and enough for the... Uh... Almost for the Clark. The Kerchesis Shard? Kerchesis Shard. Shard. Wow, I had no idea that's what that was called. Thanks, Sneaky. Yeah, close. Huh. Sneaky likes that. Lot. It didn't used to be called that, did it? No. No, it's always been called that. Okay, I just well, it didn't never, used to exist. I just never pay attention, I guess. Thing. 
even though I'm yeah. an AD carry, and I buy that item probably every day. Dude, we have Avarice Blade goading into static ship. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's my free 10 gold per game. <laughs> I used to remember like the optimi optimizations people did around Avarice Blade where they'd like, you know, buy yeah. it uh, early and get yeah. it. Or, or they'd like, they'd go back with enough gold, or they'd die and have enough gold to get to that ship. So they'd buy yeah. Avarice Blade and sit on it until they respawned. To get like the extra 14 oh. gold or whatever they'd get. Yeah, it. <laughs> big play right there. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go into Mage. Mage's gonna end up feeling really bad. He's gonna end up feeling really bad. Oh, dead he's here. not even gonna use the ult to execute him. He's gonna use the ult for Wave here. Yeah, that feels bad. He to be a VM, except really. That Corky is one of your highest damage players, and uh, he can't do much even yeah. against the uh, Riven, so. Yeah, Death Dance. Makes not it to say Riven's hard. not fed and uh, yeah. pretty, doing yeah. pretty okay. Yeah, doesn't have six skills. <laughs> you know. Oz is looking for something there against. Yeah, yeah Oz, Oz keeps walking up so close, I'm like, uh. Ooh, watch out there. You alright there? Uh oh. Oh, uh, the taunt's gonna land before the black shield can go off onto down to flash. He to flash. flash. He got he got spooked. Yeah. He got spooked. He's they, they, maybe they the top enough magic damage to break through the black shield. <laughs> yeah, worry about that. Freaking <laughs> magic damage. Better watch out. No, it's uh, it's <laughs> still looking pretty grim. That's a nib down now. 10k gold lead to 25. Yeah, Bar Baron is long since ticked out. Uh, Huang Fu was and... looking for Joe Jacko there, yeah. but Joe... Not not pulling the trigger! I think he could've. Maybe he didn't have exact vision on where he was standing. Oh, Joe's gonna steal this. Oh, no. Two points. Oh, he didn't get it. Suboptimal pink ward oh, placement wait. there. Yeah. It could be better. Oh, no, Yane's coming! Oh, Yane's oh no! Okay. Joe's oh, gotta be scared. I think Mage is quite there. Huang Fu's actually gonna be the one that dies. That's wait! Damage. Oh, he doesn't even get Joe Jacko. Galio comes in, actually blocks the Corky ultimate as he lands. <laughs> probably not exactly saving Joe Jacko, he probably would have lived anyway, but it looked awesome. No, he planned that, like three seconds ahead. Yeah. He no, knew. Absolutely was planned. Now he's going to take a bunch of damage, but he's just going to back up and heal up. Yeah, for those who aren't aware, Smite Infinity has been playing a ton of Galio this season. Um, He's definitely a favorite of the, this team in a lot of their collegiate matches, so they're very aware of how to play around it. Uh, it's fine, Fady. Just always looking for those ultimates. He comes in clutch, saves Joe Jacko's life there. Nice. Dude, those Dark Bindings are just gonna... ever. Yeah, Dark Bindings actually nuts. <laughs> Shoot, that that ability, you, you think it's gonna end. No. no. <laughs> You're still there. Go off, you know, get, grab something to eat, come back, still. Ten seconds later, you're wondering why your screen's gray and why you're still standing in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So the second inhib goes down in the mid lane. Uh, VT just taking that absolutely no problem. Yeah, Baron's up in Jexel. 50 seconds here. Oh yeah, and and with two waves of supers to defend, they're going to be hard pressed to do the same thing. Hong Fu has to pull it off again. They just need to keep stealing Baron. Dude. Just imagine if this game ends after Huang Fu steals four barons in a row or something and manages to keep them in it Jeez. <laughs> the entire time. Oh boy. That would be the- I don't know if that's like the darkest timeline or the best timeline. It's the best timeline at this yeah, point. That's, you gotta that's, go that's all in. Timeline. You gotta double dip. I don't know. I'm, exciting I'm, timeline. I'm like biased though. I want VT to win. I'd go there. That's an exciting timeline though. It is exciting. <laughs> I don't know. I want this to go the distance. I want a freaking 75 minute game right here. Oh yeah. The the epic defense that lasts. Just swap those uh, first two digits on the time, time and then on. we're good. Yeah. 27 minute game? No. 72 minute game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just hold up a mirror to the time. It's 72 minutes yeah. in. It's actually like. Okay, it, it changes based on the second, but you know. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty far into the game, depending on what second it is. Sometimes it's only like, you know, zero minutes in. Sometimes it's. Yeah. Alright, let's see what they can do here. Down to Flash is just gonna kinda run forward and look for something oh. here. Actually, oh. Fu gets a pretty good ultimate onto the Caitlyn, but he's Flash is back. And uh, Fong Francis is just fine there. Olaf's running up, and the Galio's coming in, gonna end up knocking up down to Flash. Double kill for Fong Francis. And uh, Yadi does end up cleaning up Mage in the back line, and Xiao's gonna fall as well. The Ace comes out. Ace. Janna even getting a piece of Ooh. the pie. 28 minutes. Virginia Tech defends the title, finishes it off in the 3 2. 
Drug so good challenge, but Virginia Tech remains the EEC champions for the second year or second semester. What's the second year in a row? The two time, two time, two time, two, two time, time champion, back to back blockbuster, two back. The victors are here. Yeah, that seventy-two minute game we were talking about didn't happen, oh, unfortunately. <clears throat> Not Ooh, really look at that, that dude. Clean AM amount special. of damage. Oh, the perfect 19 19,000 damage. Exactly. Nine, exactly. Zero, zero, Oof. zero. That's, that's what I call it. Nice, nice and clean. Absolutely clean. That happens Cleanest to be his age, too. <laughs> uh -huh. Not 19,000, 19, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to set up a interview here. All righty. Who are we, who are we bringing in? I don't know yet. Let's see. <laughs> Will it be Who's the next contestant? <laughs> On the Price is Right. Who's it going to be? All right, it's going to be Fong Francis coming in for the interview. We're going to need to drop channels, by the way. Switch to the interviews channel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Right. We're here. Right, Who did you say you were bringing in? I'm sorry. Uh, Fr 19,000... Even Ooh. clean damage. The clean table. damage ADC himself. Uh, hello. There he is. Hello. What's up, Francis? Hello, hello. Doing good. Doing good. So that was a uh, clean Caitlin victory for you, uh, securing that second EEC championship for you and your team. Uh, how did it feel getting subbed in that last game and? Being asked to, uh, no mistakes possible. You got to win this game. Honestly, there was quite a bit of pressure coming in because it's it's a game five, and so basically it's the last. It's come down to the last game. Like things can go wrong pretty easily, and so and obviously Drexel showed that they could pull off like two games earlier. So we had to mm -hmm. be careful of that. Yep. Yeah, I had to be had to be sweating a little, just a little bit when Huang Fu got that Baron steal, but. At that point, probably not too much. Um, honestly, we, I, me personally, I was kind of a bit shaken up by that because, yeah, um, like in most scenarios, that should never have happened in the first place. Mm -hmm. and, um, so yeah, we were a bit scared that they could come back from that, especially in a game five. That's probably not the best way to lose a game. Yeah, anytime you get a Baron stolen from you, especially in a game five, got to be a little bit shaken up from that. Yeah. Are you aware you had the perfect clean nineteen grand damage one nine zero zero zero? Oh really? All right, exactly. that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Nice crisp damage numbers. All, right. all calculated. Coming to that draft, it looks like you guys got a lot of the champions that you're very comfortable with. You got the Galio, you got the Olaf, super strong right now. Got Chase's Riven. Um, did that give you some confidence coming into the game? Honestly, that did a lot. Um, and to no fault of Drexel, because it's hard for them to draft with like three new players coming in like instantly and then they have to go figure out pick band with that and um when we got our when we saw that we could get our comfort picks that like at least relieved some of the pressure that knowing we were coming into game five right uh we saw a lot of pressure on you in team fights uh it looked like they were diving you a lot but it looked like you managed to stay alive how much of that was uh just pure skill and how much of that was uh the god joe jacko helping you out mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the god Joe Jacko indeed, but it was also help with the uh, Smite Infinity on the Galio pick. Oh yeah. yeah, classic pocket pick. But yeah, they were their team comp had a lot of dive, and uh, my team played really well, helping me peel back and letting me do the damage as an AD carry. Yeah, yeah, super, super, super crisp team fights there from everybody. Yeah, really good, really played good. Exactly play. how they should have. Huh. You guys have any more questions? I'm just... You guys must be excited. You don't have to mail back that trophy. Yeah. You get to pop another yeah. plaque on there. Oh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Don't, yeah. It's been don't kind have of to a pay the shipping. <laughs> I mean, the entire A-team was actually um, watching the entire series, uh, like, the entire time. So we've been here from, like, 8 o'clock, and now it's, like, 12.30. So yeah. it's been a long four or five hours. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really long series. That was like by far the longest series we've ever had. In, I think so. In the EEC, at least. Yeah, definitely the longest. Uh, one of the longest finals for sure as well. That first game went pretty dang long. The rest of the games were a bit shorter, but still 
you add up five of those, four and a half hours mm -hmm. for the full series. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So a long one. Uh, it must have been nice to come in a little fresh. At least you didn't have the fatigue from playing, but you came in. Um, so yeah, congrats on the win. Uh, Two-time champions. You can defend your title again next semester. Uh, <laughs> True. Do you have any more questions, uh, you guys? Or are we going to... Anything else you want to say, Frank? To the... Uh, to, to chat and the fans. Yeah, thanks for all the viewers watching. It's been a pretty long series, and you guys are probably a bit tired after watching that. But uh, thanks for staying the entire five hours. And thanks to uh, Papa Sims and the casters, you guys here, that make everything uh, run the EEC the way it is. So thanks to everybody. All right.